Hey, what's going on here, folks? Uh, I got a nice cloudy sky in the background. I finished up all my stuff with my transmission on my truck, and everything was successful, so that's a good feeling for today. My brother yelled at me as he watched my video and said, I don't look into the camera. I'm not here to win a beauty contest, and I'm no, no beauty prize as a man I am anyway. So anyway, um, I titled this that the, um, oh, and if you are new here, consider subscribing. Um, so I titled this that the, uh, this is one way to prevent uh, catalytic converter theft or any theft or any odd things around your house in general. I've had these things out here for a few years and um, I've had some scratches and stupid little things done on my truck. I don't know where they happen, a place they worked or yada, 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 whatever. So I bought these. And I'm not going to come running out the door with a shotgun, but if there was an intruder or somebody trying to cut the cats off your truck um, while you're sleeping, I will actually show you the noise of this thing right now and how it's going to definitely get your attention while you're sleeping. So yeah, that's that's the alarm, and it's very simple. It's just like if you were going to walk into like um, some of the old-fashioned stores in the mall, they'd have something to um, let you know that somebody was coming in there was a customer. But anyway, what it is, I'm going to spin around and show you here, is it's actually, they call it a wireless security system or uh, security alarm. And you buy them at Harbor Freight, they're about $17.99. And uh, I'll show you what they are and how you can use them and why to use them. So here's the alarm part. That's the sound you heard make the actual noise. Um, I believe, quote me if I'm wrong, if you look online, but of course they're all going to vary too. They sell them at Walmart and different various places. Um, it has a light on it. It also has two settings, high and low. Um, you can also get a DC 6-volt adapter if you choose to do that. I have batteries in them. And um, the range is about um, 30 feet away. So the part that I'm going to get specific about here, which I have one on the um, outside of the rail of my pool, and I've got them in a few other locations. So this part can be about 300 feet from the actual sensor. And if you see here... No. Well, the light's very dim, but oh, let's make sure it's even working. Turn it on. Well, let's just uh, brush my hand over there. Yeah, so it is working. Okay. Anyway, um, that's how it works, and it's forty. It's forty feet of range from the actual sensor. Turn that off so it don't annoy the heck out of us. Um, so what you could do with this, like I said, I've got them set up in different heights and around the, uh, the, uh, fence by my vehicle where it's parked. I'm um, on the other side where my other vehicle, my mother's vehicle is parked. And if somebody was to come at night and they want to, you know, obviously it's, it's got to be at your own home. So it's not going to, you know, prevent if your, your truck or your car is parked somewhere out at your workplace and somebody can go out there, obviously, you know, it's not going to work there. Um, but if it is at your home, um, you can set these up around. If you really wanted to get technical, you could actually put one underneath the vehicle. They're waterproof and you'd have to mount it. But I just think it's a nifty little item. And, um, you know, kind of protects your, um, your area. And if you're sleeping and somebody's going to do something stupid, then, um, you know, you kind of got it. And it'll, you'll be aware of it. You can, you know, get up, call the cops. Uh, drop a brick on your head, whatever, you know, accidentally, whatever happens. <laughs> so that's that for today, and uh, thanks for watching.